Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this new series on Flutter Tips and Tricks where I'll be sharing you uh, uh, some of the uh, tricks uh, that I've learned uh, during uh, Flutter development and uh, basically also going to share uh, some of the knowledge of basic debugging uh, things uh, like uh, if sometime your app doesn't install um, then what do you need to do. Uh, I also, I'll also share like you know various different widgets things to do with those widgets and uh, um, and basically uh, gonna tell you all about like you know how to get around uh, uh, debugging uh, fixing issues or uh, like doing some very specific things uh, that you would only encounter when you're developing a production uh, related apps right so for the first video I want to start with uh, this error that I got when I was uh, uh, building um, first uh, very first video for you guys uh, so the thing that I encountered was um, I would uh, I tried uh, basically so I installed a uh, install a package uh, here uh, and uh, I had that package uh, a battery package right here and uh, uh, then I removed it and I saved it basically uh, what's supposed to do is uh, what's supposed to happen is uh, flutter should run uh, or visual studio code should run this flutter packages dot get and uh, it should update according to the pub spec dot yaml and then I started seeing this error uh, where it was saying the sandbox is not synced with pod file lock so then pod install and update your cocoa parts uh, for the installation well I tried a whole bunch of things uh, I know like you know because uh, if, if you're if you're not an iOS developer uh, you would think well, what is pod file what what am I what am I doing with that and all that stuff but um, yeah so uh, I know it's, it gets confusing I got confused too uh, so I started like you know uh, googling around trying to like you know debug this issue and after a whole bunch of research and probably spending like an hour and a half uh, just getting stuck on this I finally found the uh, the uh, how to fix the issue so here I'm sharing that to you uh, so you don't run into it and waste your time as well okay so what you need to do first is uh, you first uh, need to uh, open your terminal uh, so you can simply right click let's say main dot dot and say open your terminal it's gonna open it right here for you and when it's open uh, click ls uh, if you're inside main dot dot uh, go one folder up and make sure that you are at the base level now this pod uh, because we are getting pod uh, Install error that means we need to go inside this iOS directory. So let's go into iOS and uh, Let's make sure this pod file uh, is there and if you want to check it out uh, You can just do vi pod file and look into it so these are all the things that actually flutter does for us so it includes this pod file it creates this pod file and it includes it for us um, basically for our app uh, so you don't have to worry about like you know uh, doing anything with that so you don't have to modify anything uh, you just hit escape do colon q and exit out of uh, vi editor now um, what you need to do here is uh, first you've verified that pod file is there now you're going to do pod install okay so what basically uh, this pod install is going to do whatever is inside this pod file is going to refresh that uh, from um, uh, from that uh, dependencies that uh, flutter has included like you know it's uh, it's got flutter 1.0 and other dependencies that are in there defined uh, it's going to actually refresh that all right once you have done that, uh, you simply clear it out and uh, uh, go back one level. Make sure you are at the top level. And now here you do flutter clean. Okay, so this is going to clean uh, your build folder. So it's going to delete all everything that you have in the build folder. And then uh, you simply going to say uh, flutter run. Now remember, you're going to do this, all this using terminal and uh, basically launch your app in debug mode so what this is going to do is uh, it's going to recompile your app and uh, then after that it's going to start Xcode build process and uh, once the build process is complete it's going to compile and sign your new app because build folder is deleted that's why it's going to take a little bit more time than uh, it used to and now it's going to sync so there we go um, this is uh, what you would get so your app would start running 
okay so once again uh, go to your terminal open um, ios.lib this pod file and this pod file is what we are updating okay so we simply make sure that for that this pod file exists and you simply go in terminal say pod install and um, and then from there you do pod install and then from there uh, you uh, let it install the pods then you do flutter clean so flutter clean command and right after that you do flutter run okay so that should actually fix your issue um, so it did it did for me and uh, there are a lot of other folks that I found on the internet this is uh, apparently this is one of the most uh, common issue that you can run into so uh, I just wanted to create a video and show you guys what's going on All right um, so yeah that's it uh, that's it for this video and thanks again for watching